So we will on exercise six point one question three, I think. Uh, which six point one? Uh, yes, ma'am. Six. We started six chapter. Okay. Yeah. We just check. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, we were doing this now. Yeah. So which question I will we were doing? We were doing question three. Question three. This one. We completed. Yes. This is the first exercise, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. This we completed, right? Third one. Yes. Okay. Now this one in the figure. It is given that if x plus y is equals to x plus y is equals to w plus z. Okay. So you have mm -hmm. to prove that AOB is a line. So can you please tell me, like in case if you have to prove that some like this is a line. So what is the criteria to prove that? Any idea? Um, no. Okay. If the angles over here will make 180 degree, right? So yeah. they will it will be a uh, straight line. Okay. Okay. Now I'll just give you a accurate idea. It's very easy. You just have to prove that see this X and Y, they are making 180. If you prove that. That means AOB is a straight line. Okay. Okay. So let's just do. So in a figure over here, you can see that X plus Y plus Z plus W will give you 360 angle. Right? Oh, because it's a complete yeah. angle. Right? So over yeah. here, it is given that X plus Y is equals to Z plus W. Right? So in case, instead of Z and Y, if I write X plus Y, can I write it? Because they both are equal. Yeah. Right, so I just wrote x plus y plus x plus y equals to 360. Okay, so okay. now how many x I have? I have 2x and 2y, right? Yeah. And now this 2 will be going this side. So x plus y will make 180. So this is what we have to prove. x plus y is making 180. So that's why it's a straight line. Done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you will write question number four, you will draw the diagram, then you will solve it. And once you solve it, then you can say, because X plus Y is forming uh, is equals to 180. Therefore, we can say that AOB is a straight line. Okay. 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 Uh, mom. 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 Yes, sir. How do we know? Like, okay, we know it's a whole three sixty, right? Yes. Uh, so, like, how how do we find out? Like, it's one eighty based on that, like the line. Uh, see, you know that a whole is 360 and they have already given they both are equal. Yes. Right? So even yeah. you can prove this one, na? W plus Z is equals to 180. It's not always compulsory that I X and Y. You can even prove W and Z. For this, okay. what you can write? Instead of X and Y, you can write W and Z. Okay. Right? You yeah. just have to prove 180 either with this or with this. Mm-hmm.
Okay, ma'am. Done? Yes. Okay. Now this one, right? Just try to solve it. You have to prove that ROS is equals to half of angle QOS minus angle POS. Just try to think about it. Then I'll tell you how to
Uh, Ma'am? Yes. Uh, yes so I, I wasn't uh, able to find out the answer, but I was able to find out a few things. Okay, tell me then. Uh, like the obvious, like POQ is 180, mm -hmm. ROQ is 90. So mm -hmm. it's PR90 because they're corresponding yes, angles. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so obviously, uh, QOS is, uh, is an obtuse angle and POS is mm -hmm. acute. Mm -hmm. So of course, uh, since POR is 90, Hmm. Uh, and uh, QOS minus POS uh, hmm. is like equal to half or is hmm. like equal to ROS but half hmm. it should be 45 degrees no yeah. like 40 degrees like 40 or 45 45 45 it will be na? okay that's why it will form 90 na? see yeah. over here in the question itself they have said that ray OR is coming right yeah OS is another lay lying between this Right, so that means it is dividing it into equal half. Yes, this is already ninety degree. So in yeah. a, in a, if this is a straight line, right? Mm -hmm. So over here, that means the angles, whatever angles over here are, they they should make one eighty. Yeah. Yes. So these and this and this, they both are equal. So maybe let's just take x and x plus ninety equals to one eighty. So over here, two x plus ninety equals to one eighty. Right? So, if you will subtract it, these two, Q, Q, O, S and P, P O, S. Right? If you will subtract it, automatically it will be half yes. of R, O, S. Yes. Yes? So, this is good. See, over here, here, in a given that O, R is perpendicular to P, Q. So, that means P, O, R, this one is 90 degree. And we are very sure that if you will add these two, that will also form 90 degree because in one angle, they form 180. Right, so these two yeah. are also together making one ninety degree. So that means ROS this one is equal to ninety minus POS. This is your first equation. Okay. Thank now you. you know that OQR is ninety degree, right? So if yeah. OQS from this, if you will subtract this one, ROS this one, it will be equal to ninety. Yeah. So ROS equals to QS minus ninety. Right? So, you can see you got two equations where ROS is equal to Q 90 minus POS and ROS is equal to QOS minus 90. Right? So, if you will add both the equation, right? It is yeah. ROS equals to 90 minus POS and over here this QOS minus 90. Right? So, what are you getting? Two ROS you are getting? Yes. Right? Equals to 90 and 90 got cancelled. What is left? P uh, Q O S minus P Q S. P O S. Yeah. And over here this two will go this side. R O S will be equals to half. Q O S minus P O S. Right? Yeah. Hmm. You can quickly copy. Okay, ma'am, that. Ma'am? Done? Yes, yes. You said something? Oh, yes, I'm done. Okay. Now, com now coming to the next one, this one, try and find it. You know the reflex is 360 minus, right? 
Reflex, you know, na, it's 360 minus Q. Yeah. Quickly do it.
Okay, Mama, I think I found out. Okay, you got something wrong? Uh, I think I got something wrong, but uh, I don't know. Okay. So, mm -hmm. PYX, first of all, is obviously variety disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, GYX uh, mm -hmm. is 64. Okay. So, uh, PYZ is equal to 126 because uh, 180 minus 64. Mm -hmm. Now, I think QYX is also 126 since they're kind of like perpendicular. Okay. Uh, then QYP is equal to 62 degrees because like uh, 126 minus 64. Mm -hmm. Since uh, P, uh, PXQ and uh, ZX, X, uh, ZYX. I don't know why you are going so much deep and all that. It's a very simple question. See. <laughs> It's like, just read a word. You just only have to find bisect word. Bisect okay. means two equal parts. For example, this is an angle. If this is a ray coming, which is bisecting, oh. that means this and this, they both are equal. So when okay. you make 180 degree, so they already, these two are equal. From here, yeah. you can your answer. Clear? Yeah. Read this. In a given, bi bisect this. So these two angles are equal. Now it's a line. So add all three. Right? From here yeah. you will find it and reflex you can find. Okay. Uh, by the way, ma'am, could you explain uh, reflex mm -hmm. again? Like? Reflex is nothing. Just 360 minus whatever QYP is. No, like generally what is reflex? Reflex is P. For example, always the numbers are here. Right? Yeah. If I'm asking you reflex, that means like including the 360. So for example, okay. if my this is 30, so am I asking reflex? So I'm asking about these. Okay. I'm not asking about this. So it is from 360, I'm minusing 30. So whatever left is the reflex. Okay. Okay. Huh? Done? Yeah. So what is your QYP? Oh, I have to do it again? Yes, you did it wrong now. So you will okay. find the correct answer. Okay. Huh? Mama is 63? Yes. And uh, 63? No. No? Okay, one minute. Okay.
Um, what? I don't know. So like, what? What you got? I didn't get anything. I don't understand. Let me do it for you. Okay, just look at the board, then do it on your own. Okay. Now okay. x y z. I'm not making an angle sign again and again. Okay. Z y q plus q y p equals to one eighty. This is clear. Yeah. So over here, these two they both are equal. Q y q y q y p. These two are equal because this is bisecting. Yeah. So over here. X Y Z. Can I write two Q Y P? Yes, right. Yeah. Because they both are equal. So X Y Z is already given sixty four. Yeah. One eighty minus sixty four. Can you solve it now? One twenty six. One twenty six. Yeah. One sixteen. One eighty minus. <gasps> okay. No, okay. no, no. One twenty six only. No. How? One eighty and sixty four, right? Yeah. So one is gone here. So ten minus four is six. Yes. And over here, four oh, becomes seven. Ah, huh, seven no, and six. One. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think you can do it. Five and eight. So you got fifty eight. Right. Right. And over here, yeah. reflex. I think you can find.
Okay, ma'am. Okay, so I hope you got it. 58 and the reflex is 302. Right? What? Reflex of QYP is 300. 302. 302. 302. Yes. Now this one, do it. Ma'am, yes, uh, I have found X and uh, I have found X and Y. Okay, what is your X? Uh, X is one thirty and Y is also one thirty. Yes, clear. But uh, now, how do I find out if something is parallel? No, no. Then show it is parallel. Uh, if these two are equal, yes. right? That means. They are alternate interior angle and alternate interior okay, angle okay, yes. interfaces lie between the parallel lines. Done. Okay, done. Okay, now this one. These are in ratio. So you will take it like this. 3x or 7x like that. Okay. Ma'am, did we start exercise 6.2? Sorry? We started in 6.2, right?
Ma'am, it's done. Oh uh, no, ma'am. I have like a question. Yes. Like y uh, y is to z is the ratio, right? They have just given in ratio, so you will take it three x or seven x. Yes. Uh, but I don't know like solve it. Right? Like I don't know how to do it. <laughs> uh, like uh, sometimes they give you in this ratio, then you have to take it because you can't take ratio three, right? So you take it 3x. Instead of 3, you take it 3x. No, like how to solve it because I've never understood okay. the chapter ratio. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. So over here, x and y, they both are equal. Yes. X and z, right? Alternate interior angle. Yeah. Yes. This is that. Now, y and, uh, so see, x and z, they both are equal, right? And okay. y is uh, ratio to rare. So 3 ratio. Z, right? So you can take it 3x, 7x, or you can take 3a, 7a, any, any variable you can take. Okay. Okay. This is what. Now, x plus y will give you 180. This you know? Yes. Go same side, right? So over yes. here, what is your x? X is 3x. X is? Yeah, x is. Uh, x is equal to z. X is equal to z. Yeah. Right? So over here, can you write it like this? Instead of x, uh, can you write z? Yeah. Yes, uh, no? Now what is z? Z is 7a. What is y? 3a. Right? 7, yes. 8, 9, 10, 180. So a is your 18. Right? So now yeah. from here you have to find x. So x is 7a. So 7 multiplied by 18. So you got 126. Okay. Yeah? So I'm not showing you the I'm not showing you the question. Uh, solution. Do it on your own. Okay.
Okay, ma'am. Done? Yes. Okay. So, I hope you got the same answer. 126. Why? X, you have to only find X. No need to find Y. Okay. Uh, so, X is equal to 126. Yeah. Now, this one. Okay. Mom? Mom? No, not getting it? No, no, no. I'm asking like F G E N G E F R. Oh, no, no. Are, they are same, right? Where? G, G E F and F G E. F G E. Yeah. No, no, no. G E F is this. Yeah. F G E is this. Oh, okay. 